What's up everybody, welcome back. So I've had braces for about six months now. I'd say the first two weeks were probably the worst of it, but I picked up some nice tips and tricks that kind of improved my quality of life while having braces, and I'm about to share those with you. So unless you already have braces or are planning to get braces, this video is probably not going to be for you. Alright, so the number one thing that I noticed was flossing got infinitely harder after braces. So they give you these things that you're supposed to lace your floss through and then lace between every nook and cranny of your teeth just to get flossing done. But uh, it was too time consuming and honestly I had no patience for it. So what I found out you could do instead is get a water pick. The water pick basically just shoots jets of water into the nooks and crannies of your teeth so you can get rid of all the big chunks first and then you can go back with one of these this is a orthodontic flosser so what's special about it is this little corner right here is a little bit smaller that way you can get in between the little spaces of your teeth so after i get all the little spaces in between my teeth with that i go back with the floss one more time just to flush everything else out and then i brush 10 out of 10 would recommend getting immediately if you know you're gonna get braces. I got mine on Amazon, I made sure it was portable as well, that way I can take it with me while I'm traveling, so it's super, super convenient. All right, so number two quality of life change that was worth making was an electric toothbrush. Honestly, if you don't have braces, you should probably get one anyways. Black Friday is coming up, spend your money where it's worth it. The fact is your manual brushing is trash. So these brush heads are made to vibrate and get into little spaces that you otherwise could not be. So I also got this on Amazon. Uh, the heads need to be replaced every month or so, so make sure you kind of have that on back order as well. Most models will tell you when you need to replace the head, so you don't need to worry too much about that. If you hate seeing your dentist, invest in this preventative care, keep up with your dental hygiene, and you won't have to go see them more than you need to. All right, number three, figure out what you can and cannot tolerate when it comes to food. For example, I no longer have the ability to enjoy a good burger or sandwich. <sighs> So I've just accepted the fact that I'm gonna have to wait two years in order to really enjoy that experience again. Bread in itself is also kind of an issue unless it's like pastries because it's the same as chips, it just gets stuck in your teeth everywhere and it's just not worth it. Chewing also becomes really weird when you have bread stuck in, ugh, I, I just, I can't do it. There are some pretty non-negotiables such as like, you know, hard candies, apples, gum, corn. I can't think of the rest, but I'm sure you can Google them. But honestly, you can cut up most things into smaller pieces. Like uh, instead of apples, I do pears because they're softer, but I still have to cut them up into smaller pieces. Chips aren't usually an issue for me, but they get stuck in all the little spaces in between. So it's just not worth it to me, but I can still enjoy things like steak, wings, pizza. Cutting up pizza is really weird, but it's worth it. So there's still some pretty good options available to you. You just kind of have to figure out what that is. Probably make a list that we don't ever have to think about it again. Hot tip, you're gonna see your dentist every month for tightening. So you might as well create a routine around that. Have a post tightening meal that you kind of go to. My food of choice is typically ramen, pho, dim sum, konji. Those are a couple that you can go to as well. It just depends on how much they tighten it. Again, the first two weeks were probably the worst of it. So it's it smooth sailing since then. All right, and last but not least, keep these with you everywhere. Just kidding, you don't have to do that. But it is super convenient to just have it in your car, so anytime you have food stuck in your teeth and you're self-conscious about it, you can retreat, open up that little vanity, and start kind of picking out whatever's stuck. Another hot tip here too is honestly just stay hydrated. Uh, the inside of your mouth might get really dry if you're not. A lot of this is gonna be preventative, so if you wanna go drink with your friends one night, you definitely need to take a big swig of IV water and then just make sure you're hydrating throughout the night. Otherwise, you're gonna wake up the next morning with cut up lips, and that's what the wax is gonna be mainly for it's going to lubricate the space between your bracket and your lip. I'm sure your dental office has already told you how to apply wax so you don't need to relearn from me but just put a little dab on your bracket if it's irritating you. So those are my hot tips for quality of life improvements if you have braces. I personally have another 18 months of this to go. I should probably mark it on my calendar. I don't know why. I've just accepted this is going to be the rest of my life. I'm sure I'll have something braces related to rant about or update you guys on in the future. So thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and whatever other YouTubers tell you to do for engagement. And follow me on IG if you want to. See you in the next video.